This will be the interior video of 2013, the 2021 3251 LE by Forest River Forester. You do have a screen door. Screen door's in good shape, no tears, holes, nothing like that in the door. It does come apart here so that you can actually have just a screen door and leave your other door open. Entryway here where you have two house batteries located underneath the step well there. Two house batteries is a plus. They only come with one. We actually add the additional. Fire extinguisher to my right. Right in here you have your solar panel, uh, solar prep panel. You have lighting here and here, which are gonna be your porch light and your white LED strip underneath your awning. Battery disconnect, which is a huge plus in case you're gonna store the vehicle, or anything like that. You can actually disconnect your batteries until you come back to them so they don't lose charge. Furnace is gonna be out of your black vents in the floor. AC will be out of your white vents in the ceiling. Right here's the back of the dinette booth. No real scratches or anything like that. It appears that that was just a smudge, nothing there. Dinette booth is leatherette, which is a nice option that we add in here. No scratches, tears, nothing like that on there. It does appear that there's just a little spot on the wall right there. You have storage underneath your dinette booth and this will actually turn into a bed as well. Storage above your dinette booth with a Bluetooth indoor and outdoor speaker radio. That'll do Bluetooth, regular radio, and a lot of other uh, additional features on there. You have a 42 inch television up top right here that can be moved around. So basically I can just push that TV back and lock it into place. Bunk ladder is stored back here. I do have my upper bunk here, which is located above the passenger and driver's seat. Basically a queen bed up top right there. Back of the dinette booth is in good shape. Driver's seat is in great shape. Passenger seat also, no rips, tears, nothing like that in there. You have your radio up front, which can double as Bluetooth. And mileage on this unit is 18,000. 993, 18,093 miles, which is actually very low. You do have heated mirrors, and your backup camera is actually going to be located where your rear view mirror would usually be. So as soon as you put the vehicle in reverse, it's going to show you what's going on behind you. Across from my dinette booth here, I have my couch, which will jackknife and lie flat. It is leather as well leatherette but it has no scratches tears nothing like that storage above my couch it's pretty deep storage actually you have that there and you have a privacy curtain which would actually go up across the front here to keep uh, people from looking in at night and also to keep it a lot cooler during the summer kitchen area you have your microwave which doubles as a convection and you have a three burner stove top with a glass cover on it And that does light up just here. Storage underneath. GFI is located here. Carbon monoxide detector here. Storage for a trash can. Big deep, deep uh, one weld sink here. And then you have a phone charger here. So all you do is just set your phone on top of that and it will actually charge it. HDMI hookup, which is a nice feature that they have in this one uh, for like kids to play video games, anything like that. They can hook up a console. I did notice there was one small dent in the refrigerator, and honestly, I think that's about the extent of the damage in this thing. Extra counter space here, which would fold up. You have a small television in the middle area. There's actually a seat belt here and a seat belt here, so kids can hang out back here and watch the TV across the way from them or play video games, whatever they've got. You've got a 110 plug there, bunk lighting in both bunks. So this upper bunk is a dedicated bunk, and this couch here will actually jackknife and lie flat for a bed. Same as that couch there. Slide room controls here, thermostat here, you have lighting controls here. This door will actually come all the way across and close this partition off, so you can actually have a little bit of privacy in your bedroom. And then you have a upgraded Denver mattress, which is a huge plus. Storage on the sides of your bed, storage cabinets above, and lighting above as well. 
TV in the bedroom is awesome because they actually did not even allow us to do that in our new model. So lucked out, got a TV in this one. And you have hanging space next to the television here for hanging clothes, anything like that. You do have 110 outlets on the side of the bed here and on the side of the bed over here. Bathroom door is right here in the hallway across from the couch. So if we go into the bathroom, very bright in here. I've got a porcelain toilet, which is a lot better than your average plastic toilet. Storage up above here. You do have a medicine cabinet here with storage behind that. Drawers and storage underneath. Shower with a little deep tub in it. It's probably a foot deep. You do have a sliding shower door here, which comes all the way across and locks into place. And to open that up, you just hold on to it. It comes right back. And here's your shower. And you do have a fan up top that can be cranked up to pull any kind of humidity or bad smells out of here. That concludes my video of the interior. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.